Bulls lead by one. Eight and a half minutes to play here in the first. Jordan for the stuff over cycling. That's a little flash post by Michael Jordan. In the Bulls system, any team left in the first quarter, the Bulls lead by seven. On the high side, Bimbo Coles put it exactly where Rice could handle it. Pippen was forced to commit the foul. This is interesting. Harold Miner, the rookie from Southern Cal, in. Like we saw in the fourth quarter, we'll see here tonight in the first, a Edwards minor backcourt. So Kevin Edwards displaying versatility, moving to the point guard spot. Minor will play against one of his idols. I'm not going to say that Jordan's his only idol, because he's got many, but certainly Jordan, an obvious influence. Well, I, I'm, I'm sure this is a big occasion for Harold Minor to play against the great one, Michael Jordan, and to defend him one on one. Ought to be some lessons learned for the rookie as well. Len Rice with six on those two free throws made. The Heat trail by three. Jordan tried to post him up immediately. Now he'll try and beat him on the drive. Forced to take a tough jumper. Grant Long rebounds it. The Heat have a chance to cut it to one. Kevin Lockery calling for one shot. Got a three second difference on the shot clock and the game clock which reads now at 16 seconds and they're going to go to Harold Miner. They're going to try and post Harold Miner or pop him out. He's got it one on one against B.J. Armstrong. Miner coughed it up and the shot clock goes off. A jump ball signaled right before the shot clock went out. Four seconds left here in the first quarter. Now Steve Javi, Nolan Fine, and George Tolliver will talk it over. Tolliver had signaled for the jump ball just an instant before the shot clock expired. And that's what we'll get at the heat basket. B.J. Armstrong and the explosive Harold Miner. Now Miner should control this tap. He should tap it right between Glenn Rice and uh, Grant Long. There's a pocket there he can tap it to. He goes for cycling. Likely threw up a prayer and back Stacy King out. Jordan on Miner. And Miner a little bit nervous. Kevin Lockery signaling to Harold Miner. Uh, not so much on the dribble, pass and go against Michael Jordan. He's a very tough defender on the player with the ball. It's Grant Long corralling the rebound on Stacy King's missed runner. Here's a good matchup. Miner blowing by Paxson and Paxson grabbing at his left knee. Uh, John Paxson got hit on the knee, knee to knee. Uh, he told me in the game at Chicago that that's what bothers him most. If he gets hit directly on the kneecap, then watch, it's going to happen right there. Ouch. Well, Paxson comes out of the game, and on comes veteran Trent Tucker. He spent nine years with the Knicks, one year with the Spurs, and here he is in Chicago. And this puts... That was a brick. Good defense. Nice pass by Miner. Harold Miner, with his head up, found the cutting cycle, streaking toward the goal. Michael Jordan's foul. There's the pass. Miner... Cycli, foul Jordan, Cycli to the line. Missed his first two badly. See if he can re the steal. And the Heat can take its first lead since it was six to four. Oh, Miner was aiming for a reverse jam, but it's Grant Long that cleans it up. Al Miner got to the basket, had that ball deflected as he went up to shoot it. Well, Miami leads it by one, 8.31 left in the second quarter, and Phil Jackson wants a timeout. So the Heat battle back, and they lead. We'll be right back. Watch the defense. Ball knocked free by Willie Burton. Up the floor, Bimbo Coles, Harold Miner. Watch the drive to the basket. Crossover dribble, explosive to the hoop, but it's knocked aside by... Horace Grant, Grant Long there for the finish. Grant Eagle offense cutting off Stacy King, Burton with his second steal. Three on two. 
Miner. Oh, great Got drive. It. Change of hands. Harold Miner lays it off softly with that left hand. First basket for the rookie, Harold Miner. Puts the heat back in front. They don't get a future call. Drive it to his left into the defender fade it back similar kind of move We saw Michael Jordan perform only with the right hand the confidence and the game growing nightly for Harold Miner 39 36 a three-point heat lead and a better and BJ Armstrong were by themselves watching a videotape of the previous Bulls heat game Very interesting 23 left here in the first half. Were they watching our call or Chicago's? <laughs> uh, there was no sound. <laughs> Too bad. Harold Miner weaving through. Nice. Two more. Nice. Again, oh, and the balance and agility of Harold Miner and the explosiveness going to the basket. I think Michael Jordan might try and take Harold Miner and show him who's boss out here soon. Well, the Harold Miner highlight reel keeps growing. Rodney McRae has dialed up three yes. from outside. Yes, three for three on the jump shot for Rodney McRae. Not typical of his game at least this year. No, very untypical. He did 58 percent here in the first half. He oh. got him. He is feeling it tonight. Harold Miner, four field goals, eight points here in the now. second quarter. Watch out now. This guy will show Harold Miner, I think. Willie Burton couldn't rake home the rebound. <laughs> we'll be right back to Miami Arena. Glad you're with us tonight. We've had a terrific first half so far. Eric Reed with Dr. Jack Ramsey, a four-point heat lead. And you know there's only one thing better than a Miami Heat win. That's celebrating it with an ice cold Budweiser, the king of beers. Well, Steve Smith's comeback road continues. We invite you to stay with us tonight. Mike Shore's halftime piece will take you along. Very interesting and challenging comeback trail that Steve Smith is traveling. Harold Miner having quite the first half. Eight points all here in the second quarter, and he is in the flow after being a little jittery at the start. I think uh, playing against Jordan unnerved him a little bit. Here's nice Perth. drive, Willie. Good didn't finish. finish. Yeah, exactly. Did not finish. Got to the basket. Didn't finish it. Scotty Pippen been a little on the quiet side tonight with just four. Jordan has nine. They made him give it up. Block shot by Sally. Here comes Coles. Like a speeding bullet. Oh, boy. What and a play, Bimbo Coles. Put it in over Jordan. <laughs> what a play, Bimbo Coles. All the way to... Lakers and Pistons both won it twice. Failed in their bid for the three P. Oh, Harold Miner spun by Jordan, but came up short on the hook. And we get a foul on Rodney McRae of Chicago with 35 seconds left in the first half. Grant Moore. Miami leads by four. 49 45 as the time winds down here in the first half. There's a one on one confrontation. Off to B.J. Armstrong, tough shot. Sally with a rebound. And the Heat will go to the dressing room with a four-point halftime lead. A well-played first half. Yeah, excellent play by the Heat, excellent play. The Bulls didn't play badly either, but the Heat didn't give them one fast-break opportunity in that first half. That's critical. And a Jordan with the steal. Look out, look out, folks. <laughs> You'll see it later on your nightly news. <laughs> So that's Michael Jordan in half court. He's already knocked down two shots from the perimeter, but the defensive effort at the half court never stops. Jordan leads the league in scoring, number 10 in the league in steals, number 20 in assists. We talked about his completeness. Here's Sally fading away. The Bulls lead by two, just a little over two minutes old, third quarter. And so far, Jordan has dominated the period. Rice guarding Pippen. 
Durant finds Jordan. Pippen with a rebound and stuff. And Kevin Lockery will want a quick timeout. Well, the Bulls come out and go on a 10-2 run to start the third quarter. 9.22 left in the period. The Bulls lead Miami by four. Ah, Pippen against Miner. This will test Harold. He can drive on Pippen. He plays you very closely. Through the contact and gets a nice roll. Harold Miner going right to work on Scotty Pippen. Miner now with 10 points. Now that's ind indicative of the respect that Harold Miner is acquiring very quickly around the league. Grant Long with a steal. Out racing Pippen for the slam. Now, Harold Miner contributed to that steal because he bumped Scottie Pippen just as he was about to pass the ball, forcing an errant pass. Miami's cut a nine-point lead down to five. Oof. And Horace Grant from the corner ups it to seven. He looked to tie it up. They had trailed by as many as nine in the third quarter. Here's Miner against Tucker. Jordan knocked it loose. And here comes Pippen. Back to Jordan. Uh -huh. Michael Jordan. Fans expecting a slammer. Michael just glides in and slips it off the glass. 8.15 left in what's been a beauty. Both teams Bulls playing without a center at this point. John Sally guarding Rodney McRae. The Bulls leading by three. Minor with Jordan. Strip Jordan, but a foul. And young Harold Miner broke into a grin when he heard that whistle. He knew he had a clean steal, but almost knew he wouldn't get away with it. Let's watch Harold Miner. Pretty good footwork by Harold. As Michael Jordan spins, Harold Miner. Yeah, it looks like he got some flesh on that one. Check the fingernails to be sure. Jordan had 18 points, eight rebounds, five steals in the game against the Heat nine days ago. Has 25 points here tonight, with leading by five. Jordan inside, deflected out by Miner. John and Sally caused that play. Edwards for Miner. Jordan with a reject. The Heat will keep it. 18 seconds left on the shot clock. Watch Michael Jordan. He's everywhere on defense, folks. Take that. Well, hang time working as a weapon most often for Miner, but not that time. He hung around long enough for Jordan to get there. Plenty of time for the Heat. 13 on the shot clock, 5.52 left in the game. And a seven on the shot clock. Long overshot it, and the Bulls still own a five-point lead. Give credit to the Bull defense. Lock up. Rose in intensity as the game winds down. Oh, yes. The fourth quarter is lockup time for Chicago. Jordan on the cut. Oh, boy. That's, slam. that's a nice play. Causing Kevin ever. Lockery to take a timeout. But that pass, Pippen to Jordan, was beautiful. Best duo in the game today. Jordan with 29, and the Bulls lead it by nine.